Our tale begins in the 3rd century BC, during the Roman Republic, with the introduction of Greek philosophy to Rome. The Roman Empire was expanding, and as it engulfed the Greek states, it became exposed to Greek culture, including its philosophy. This marked the birth of Roman philosophy, a time of translation, adaptation, and transformation of Greek thought into a Roman context. The first wave of Roman philosophy was heavily influenced by the teachings of Epicurus, a Greek philosopher who promoted the pursuit of pleasure, freedom from fear, and the absence of pain as the highest goals of life. This doctrine, known as Epicureanism, gained traction among Romans like Titus Lucretius Carus, who penned the didactic poem De Rerum Natura, on the nature of things, which sought to explain and popularize Epicurean ideas. In the 2nd century BC, we see the emergence of Stoicism in Rome, largely due to the influence of the Greek philosopher Diogenes of Babylon. Unlike Epicureanism, which sought pleasure, Stoicism advocated for the pursuit of virtue, and the belief that one's good or bad fortune should not affect their inner peace. Stoicism became extremely popular in Rome and was adopted by many influential figures like Seneca, Epictetus, and even the Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Next, we encounter Cicero, a statesman and scholar, who lived in the 1st century BC. Cicero was a great admirer of Greek philosophy, and he did much to translate and adapt it for Roman audiences. He was an academic skeptic, who emphasized the importance of doubt and the limitations of human knowledge. Cicero's writings, including De Ophicis, on duties, were influential in moral philosophy and political thought. As we move into the 1st century AD, we see the rise of Neoplatonism, a development of Plato's philosophy. It was introduced to Rome by Plotinus, who established the Platonic Academy there. Neoplatonism, which emphasized the mystical and the spiritual, was a significant influence on the development of Christian thought in the Roman Empire. Christian philosophy began to emerge in the 2nd century AD, with figures like Justin Martyr and Clement of Alexandria. They combined Greek philosophical principles with Christian theology, creating a philosophical framework that would dominate the Middle Ages. As the Roman Empire fell in the 5th century AD, the philosophical scene in Rome also declined. However, the teachings of the Roman philosophers, their interpretations, adaptations, and developments of Greek philosophy, had a lasting impact. They were preserved and studied throughout the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, influencing many future generations of philosophers and thinkers. The story of Roman philosophy is a tale of cultural exchange and intellectual evolution. It is the story of a society grappling with big questions about life, the universe, and everything in between. It's a narrative full of vibrant characters, transformative ideas, and lasting legacies, woven into the rich tapestry of human thought.